ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم نفسا واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله تساءلون به ولا ارحم ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد the day is the 20th of shaaban next week will be the 27th of shaaban the last friday before the start of the blessed month of ramadan The blessed month of Ramadan will be here in a few days inshallah and again just to remind ourselves concerning this blessed month that fasting in Ramadan is compulsory upon every eligible able body muslim male and female the adult the same those who have the ability to fast meaning that there is nothing preventing them from fasting and Allah mentions in surah al-baqarah ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o you who believe so here Allah is going to command the believers with something or Allah is going to prohibit them from something and as the self mentioned pay careful attention oh you who believe observing a sound fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you that you may become al muttaqun so here fasting is prescribed for us as it was prescribed for the nations before and we will benefit meaning we will gain consciousness of our lord we will gain the fear of our lord we will gain righteousness as human beings also Allah mentions the month of ramadan some ayat lower down the month of ramadan which was revealed al quran a guidance for mankind and clear proofs for the guidance and the criteria so whoever of you cites the the the, the crescent that is of the month of ramadan he must observe so fast that month so he also mentions that this month this blessed month of ramadan in which was revealed al quran so Allah honored and favored ramadan by revealing sending down al quran the criteria and the guidance for man to distinguish between right and wrong the criteria send down to show us the commands 
and the prohibition so that we will know our way for us to gain consciousness, true consciousness of our purpose. And all I mentioned, so whoever of you sights the crest and the moon, then he should fast that month, that month of Ramadan. He must observe so that month. This is a command from our Lord to observe fast for that entire month. Not to have the intention to fast some days and leave off some. So again, Allah has favored this blessed month of Ramadan. So let us be reminded of some of its virtues. And again, fasting Ramadan is from the pillars of Islam. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Islam is built upon five. And from it he mentioned the Shahada, he mentioned Salah, he mentioned the Hajj and Zakah, and he also mentioned Sonu Ramadan, fasting in the blessed month of Ramadan. So here again the least of the things a Muslim does is uphold the Shahada, the Salah, the Hajj, if he, is, if he has the means and the protection to do it, also upholding a Zakah so long as he has the means to pay and fasting the blessed month of Ramadan. These are from the pillars of Islam. So fasting the blessed month of Ramadan, by doing this, the Muslims are helping to establish the deen of Allah. Also Ramadan is a month of forgiveness. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the five prayers, Friday to Friday, and Ramadan to Ramadan, will be an expiation for the sins between them, so long as the major sins are avoided. So between the five salah, so from this salah to the next salah, and the other salah to that salah, and between this Juma to the next Juma, and between last Ramadan to this Ramadan, and this Ramadan to the other Ramadan coming, the sins are forgiven so long as the major sins are avoided. Also, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever observes fast during the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping to attain Allah's rewards, then all his past sins will be forgiven. So if someone, he performs his five times salah and he fasts the blessed month of Ramadan, but let's say for whatever reason, he, he does not perform the night prayer or he does not perform extra charity. But so long as he performs his five times salah and he fasts the blessed month of Ramadan out of sincere faith, hoping to attain Allah's rewards, then all of his past sins will be forgiven. Also, this blessed month, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There has come to you, Ramadan, a blessed month, which Allah the mighty and sublime has enjoined you to fast. In it the gates of heavens are open, and the gates of hell are closed, and every devil is chained up. In it Allah has a night which is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of its goodness is indeed deprived. So here the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned 
that in this blessed month there is a night which is better than a thousand months and it is the night of Lailatul Qadr the night of decree the night when the decree of everything for the year to come is sent down so you find the believers earnest in seeking this night seeking good decree from their Lord so again Ramadan was a night that is better than a thousand months and when you add up a thousand months as the son of mentioned it equals to approximately 83 or 84 years so imagine gaining this night and having 83 years added to your scale 83 years of worship a thousand months of worship added to the scale Ramadan has in it a night that is better than a thousand months and may Allah make us from those to reach that and may Allah make us from those to witness it and may Allah make us from those who he gets the full reward of that thousand months and also the previous ones Amin La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu ahul mulku wa lahul hamd يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعليه وصحبه ومن والاه ثم ما بعد This blessed month of Ramadan again it is from the pillars of Islam. Ramadan is a month of seeking forgiveness and nearness to Allah. Ramadan contains the night of decree, Laylatul Qadr, a night which is better than a thousand months. Ramadan is a month full of blessings, righteousness, and seeking Allah's aid from the fire. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when the first night of Ramadan comes, the shayateen, the devils, and the mischievous jinns are chained up, and the gates of the fire are closed, and none of its gates are open. The gates of paradise are open and none of its gates are closed. And a caller cries out, O seek of good, proceed. O seek of evil, stop. And Allah has necks whom he frees from the fire and that happens every day. So again from this blessed month is that when the first night comes the shayateen, the mischievous jinns, they are chained up. So here the, the son of the mention that it is harder for the shayateen to whisper to man. It is harder for the devils to tempt man towards evil. So be mindful that if you are one who engage in evil, in fornication and adultery, in stealing, in backbiting and slandering and lying, in the music and the weed and the alcohol, whatever sin you engage in this month, just know that the shayateen, the devils are chained, making it harder for the servants to sin. So if you find yourself heading towards sin, then know this is by your own innate evil. Blame no one but yourself. And also the gates of the fire are closed. 
and none of its gates are open, showing difficulty to reach the hellfire. And the gates of paradise are open, and none of its gates are closed, showing ease to enter into the paradise. And a caller cries out, O seeker of good, proceed. O seeker of evil, stop. So a caller cries out, O seeker of good, come forth, proceed. So you will find the believers taking heed and proceeding towards good. O seeker of evil, stop. So now you will find the evil of mankind, those who engage in the evil, they have done to blame again but themselves because the paradise is wide open and easy to enter with deeds. And the paradise is, it is difficult to enter now, but you will still find some people making their way there. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, Allah has necks whom he frees. And this happens every day. So there are people whom Allah will set free, who were destined for the hellfire, but due to them taking heed and doing good, and hearing the call of the, the, the Osik of good come forth, taking heed to the advice, and, and putting forth good, Allah will set them free from the hellfire. Also, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Amin, Amin, Amin. Just before he gave a khutbah, and in one narration it mentioned he ascended and he said, Amin. And then he ascended again and he said, Amin. And then he ascended and said, Amin. And after the Sahaba, they asked him, You did something we are not accustomed to you doing. So what was this? So he mentioned that the angel Jibreel alayhi salam came to him and he mentioned whoever sees his parents in their old age one of them or both of them and does not honor them and he dies then he will enter the hellfire and Allah will cast him far away so say Amin and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Amin. Then Jibreel alayhi salam said, Whoever hears your name mentioned, and he does not send blessings upon you and he dies, then he will enter the hellfire and Allah will cast him. <clears throat> Allah will cast them far away, so say Amin. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said Amin. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned that Jibreel alayhi salam, again be mindful, this is the best of the angels making a dua in the presence of the best of mankind, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah's prophet and messenger, the final messenger, the best from amongst the prophets and the messengers, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The best of all creation, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
The angel Jibreel is making dua and he is the one who brought revelation to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he is making dua and he's mentioning to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say ameen. And the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said ameen for each one of them. Be mindful of this. If your parents reach old age and you do not seek means by this to seek nearness to your Lord, to be dutiful to your parents. Someone asked the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is the best deed? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to perform the salah in its proper time, early. The best of thee is to perform the salah, to heed, worship your Lord at its established time. Then what? To be dutiful to your parents. Then what? Jihad. So here, honoring the parents and being dutiful to your parents takes precedence over jihad. Also, Jibreel alayhi salam, he said, whoever hears your mention, your name mentioned, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he does not send blessings upon you, then he will be cast into the hellfire. If your parents will reach old age and you do not seek nearness to your Lord, whereby Allah enters you to the paradise, then you will enter the hellfire and he will be cast far away. But then now for the third Amin. So he mentioned to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whoever witnesses, whoever enters the blessed month of Ramadan, and he does not gain the forgiveness of Allah, he does not gain the mercy of Allah, he does not gain the paradise, then he will enter the hellfire and he will be cast far, far away. So say Amin, and he said, I said Amin, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if the blessed month of Ramadan comes, and how much blessed months of Ramadan have come and gone, and we are not from those who are given the forgiveness and the mercy and the blessings of Allah, why? Allah is not unjust. Allah is not evil. Allah is not a bad Lord. The reason why people do not gain the paradise, the reason why people do not gain the forgiveness and the mercy is because they do not seek it. Seek the forgiveness of your Lord. Seek the guidance of your Lord. If you truly seek it, Allah will give it to you. And this is from the best of the months to gain the mercy, the blessings, and the forgiveness from your Lord. So may Allah make us from those who enter the paradise in this month, the blessed month of Ramadan. And may Allah make us from those who do not enter the hellfire in this month, the blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah make us from those who he gives forgiveness, mercy, blessings, and pardon throughout that blessed month. May Allah give us the ability, the able body to seek righteousness from our Lord in this blessed month. Amin. Rabbana atima fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina dhabinar. So again, whoever witnesses this blessed month and be mindful because there are many brothers who are unable to witness that blessed month because Allah has taken their soul. 
But there will be some of us who Allah will allow to witness this blessed man from the male and the female Muslim. So be mindful and do not just allow your blessed month of Ramadan to go to waste. Whereby we just look into old talk. And we just look into listen to music. And we just look into wait for the, for the time to, to, for, to pass. Where we could break fast so we could smoke a roll on. So we could drink a little alcohol. So we could now go and check the girlfriend and engage in things that we are not supposed to engage in. This is not a month to disobey your Lord. Just as the rewards are multiplied in this month, some of the sort of mention that the reward for sins, the punishment is also multiplied in this month. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk hayakumullah barakallahu fukum